Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Toaster. Welcome back to this is, uh, my campaign as as Bree is in Divide and Conquer submod. I believe this will be episode seven now. We ended on an end turn. We're still broke, and let's end the turn. I hope everybody's enjoying the series so far. We'll see if we can uh, if Dublin decides to attack us this turn. Either or not, I think they will. Quite likely. Hoping in a couple more turns we start to make some money because I, I fear that we're gonna wind up broke for, for most of the game here, but or I'm just not playing it right, perhaps. I've never really played Bree before, so <coughs> seems you have to focus a lot on trade, but Yeah. Alright, we'll withdraw from that. We don't wanna fight that. Hmm. Yeah, auto resolve, and hopefully the general doesn't. Yeah, we'll auto dissolve. If we lose the general, we lose the general. Rally to me, men. We must okay. So they see Jargant. Okay. We don't get a garrison, I don't believe, there. We have a lot of archers in that army, though, so I'm not too worried. And Athelion's been lost. We're losing less money, even though one of our settlements is sieged. So, yeah, there's that. We'll reinforce Matrith of that army. Okay. And... Let's see here. Yeah, that army is actually not bad. I wish we had... It would be nice if we got garrison, but nah. A couple of units of archers, we got a bunch of horsemen. I'm fairly confident that can hold out for a bit. Unless they siege Mithrith. I'm almost wondering if I need to move this this spy. Nope. Okay, they, that army is merging with that army. Alright. <coughs> So, uh, we'll move our diplomat, and then we'll see what happens from there. So, I do believe we were... we have trade rights with Ened Wythe. So I do believe we were trying to get trade rights with Linden, or map information with Linden? No, I think we're going after Isengard. Alright. So, we'll end the turn, see what happens. We'll see what happens. There's a couple of different things that could happen. That army that's could go after Matrith, which I think they're gonna do actually. And I don't think we get a garrison at Matrith either. So we're gonna have to fight our way out of Argont and reinforce Matrith. Oh, okay, we don't have to worry about fighting our way out of Argon because they're gonna come after us. And no garrison. We're at one to one. All right. What are we facing? The general is clan hunters. Fifteen of them, or is it 150? 150. Okay. So we got clan, some archers, which I'm not really worried about. Some pikemen, which could pause, pose, pose a problem for our our horsemen, but I'm not too worried about this army. So, all right. I believe on a wooden castle we get, uh, yeah, or is that a Mountain Bailey? I can't remember. I think that's a that's a picture of a Corsair ship. The Corsair is Vambar. And we have Gandalf speaking about the ring. So I guess we'll see how this goes. This is pretty much most of our army, so... It's kind of... we don't really want to lose it. <laughs> Alright. Stone Castle. Cool. It's very cool, actually. So, let's see. They're going to come at us from there. The only problem is... They're kind of coming at us from a bit of a weird angle. So...
Put them up there. Can we put the hobbits up there? No. But I think, yeah, we're gonna let them break through the gate. And then we'll, we'll send the, we're gonna send the horsemen out and flank them, hit them from the side if we get the other gate. We can find the other gate. Of course the other gate's at the back of the building, so you know, there's that. But that's okay. So we'll put the horsemen out here. Unless I'm missing a gate somewhere. And we have these horsemen. <coughs> I may keep these horsemen actually in here. Yeah, I think we'll keep them in there and... I don't know. I'd really like... I wish we had more stuff to put them on, but we don't, so... We can't put them on top of there, which is kind of unfortunate. And why won't you go above the gate? All right. Well, we'll put them behind. Well, we can't even put them there. Why is this game not working? All right. Okay. We'll put the the bladesman there. We lose one of these generals, it's not a big deal. I don't want to lose two though. So Put the band of breast archers there. Well Put the woodland hunters there. Okay, well we don't really want them there actually. Why are you not going where I want you to? And you're not facing the same way I want you to. Well, we'll fix that after. Alright. And you guys go on top of the gate. You're not really doing anything effective there, but anyhow. Alright. We'll let them get in close to the gate. Really nice if we didn't have this big blocky thing here. You can't have everything, so that's okay. Why are they going around here? Are they gonna come up with, from that angle? All right. Well, we'll send the cavalry out and take care of that. Okay, you guys go out there, and if they come down and try and take, we'll take the cavalry and charge them in from there. I want you gentlemen here. Be there. You're gonna hit them in the flank. Alright. So I want you guys actually to fire at the berserkers. Everything else I'm really well not really really thinking about anything in this army to be honest with you. But fire at the berserkers. Okay. Alright, we'll put the cavalry there. Have this cavalry managed to get over there? Excellent. Okay. The only problem is, both our faction and faction air are in this battle, so if we lose, or they both die, that could be problematic. Actually, that will be very problematic. Let's, let's not beat around the bush here. All right, you guys fall back. Fire down on those guys. The hobbits are gonna get massacred. There's not much we can do about it. Warband will cut through them like nothing.
He's firing at us. Who the heck? Oh, the archers, okay. Okay, charge in there. How are you guys firing? Are you trying to fire that arcing shot or something? That's kind of annoying. I wonder if I could have put them over here. No. No. This castle thing is kind of useless, to be honest with you. Alright. They're fine. What we want to do now? So what we want to do now is you want to send our horsemen out here. Get a couple good flanking charges in. The axemen are routing now, anyhow. We may have to send these guys up here, actually, yes. Actually, yes we will. And we're gonna have to use these guys in the main in the main line. Just to get the hobbits out of the way. They really aren't. I actually should have sent them up earlier. Alright. Pretty much killed the berserkers though. Killed the fireman pikemen. All right. Kill those huntsmen. Kill those huntsmen as well. Blade masters. Hopefully, will push these guys back. Yes, they're definitely cutting through them. All right. No, you guys. I want you to stay here. Alright, we're gonna send these guys in. Actually, we're gonna have to send them out here. Should have sent them out earlier, but that's okay. Hobbits are getting massacred. Okay, the gate's through. Alright. That's fine. Uh, why are you guys going out there? No, 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 no. Get back here. You get back. Uh oh, we better watch out for what's Barlaman doing. What's happening with Barlaman, okay. Get out of there. You've done enough of your damage. The spearmen are going over there? Alright. Okay. What's happening at the gates. Charge. Charge. Okay. Alright, I think they're trying to do a sneak attack, so... Alright, what's happening here? You guys, actually, you guys kill those huntsmen. You guys take out the spearmen that are trying to kill us, climb that wall. And then we're going to charge them from the back. Those poor hobbits. Okay, charge them in. How are those huntsmen doing? Alright, they're doing alright against them. And they're... yeah, okay. Charge out, charge out. Okay, those huntsmen are down. Alright, so what we're going to do here... Charge them in. Into the back. Alright. You gentlemen. We're kind of doing this a long way around, but I don't want to get them to get flanked. Alright. Charge 
Where's those guys? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, charge them. All right, Barnum, do your work. What's this gentleman doing here? Okay. Help him along. Oh, they get them in the back like that, going through the gate. Yeah, not bad. They routed those clan axemen right away, so that's pretty darn good. Excellent, very good. They're taking, yeah, they're bending but not breaking, so that's a good thing. All right, we need to send these horsemen around here. Uh oh, oh dear! Get out of there! Charge into them, Andy. You may have gotten into a bit more than you can fight off. I sure hope it does. All right, you guys. Go after them. You're gonna massacre every single one of them in here. <coughs> we may have to merge a couple of units after this because we're gonna be down a lot of men. And we still have to send men north to Mithrith. Alright, charge in at them. Goodness, these spearmen are taking taking an awful lot to go down. What are you guys doing out here? Alright, so they've got them pretty much surrounded. And are just chopping them through. Okay, actually, Barlaman, actually, we could probably use you right about here. Take out the rest of these spearmen. Alright, charge them. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and so, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, these gatekeepers are pretty good. I like them. They got, like, a spear or something. So, take out those. Uh, he's there fighting you to death. They're all routing. Excellent. We're going to execute every single one of them. No more of this ransoming guys off. Alright. I, I think we're good. Just going to mop up whatever's left in the courtyard here. And we've captured their general. Alright. They're just they're routing. They're fighting to the death. That one guy there. As soon as he dies, I think they'll be done. I think that's it. Yep. See who did the best. Lost 250 men. Uh, that's not. That's them kind of losses. Bodyguards did well. The bodyguards did well. The hunters did really well. The blade masters really kicked butt. And those gatekeepers did well as well. These blade masters didn't do as well, but I don't think they had quite as big a. Uh, they didn't have quite as big a, a unit, so that'd be turn. Finding his well sister, and then she became his wife. It's kind of a sad story in the first stage. I think Christopher Tolkien's son there wrote the book about it. I think a couple of years back. Do you believe? Alright, we're gonna... Yep, I thought they'd go for Matrice. Alright, we're gonna have to send a reinforce... Another army! Oh dear, we're gonna lose either Matrice or Argond. One of these two are gonna go... 
and we're gonna have to recapture the other one. Hopefully we started moving and making some money though, with all these losses. Oh, answer going on our horizon guard. It's, oh, we're making money! We're making money, guys! It's 192, but we're making money. <laughs> Relations, Russian with the Dunlanings. Run and Darwinian are at war. Alright. Argon's besieged. Matrice, Patrice besieged. There was another army in the woods there? My goodness. Alright, so we're going to move our diplomat, because that's really all we can do. And I... The next two will probably be the battles of Matrith and Argon. We're probably going to keep Argon and lose Matrith unless we get a garrison. Because, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll take as many of them down as we can, but I, I, I don't see us keeping my Argon. So. so, anyhow, I think we'll, we'll end the video there. Thanks, everybody, once again, for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I'll, um, there's a couple comments about music, uh, I'd like to try and get the music into the videos, but obviously, copyrights, you can't use the Lord of the Rings music. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some non-copyrighted music, maybe, and see what I can do. But, thanks everybody for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.